All right guys, what if I told you that every single day I order products like these from China for literally $1 and products like these for people that play PlayStation or whatever they play and we're big fans of like Sony, I order these products for $20, I sell it for $60. That's, a, that's like a 50%, that's a 100% profit, right? And over here, I sell these antiques, I literally buy from like from China for a dollar, right? I sell them for around $100 every single day. I sell around 20,000 of these every single month and that's how I make the majority of my money, right? Now guys, you're probably telling me, Tommy, that sounds very familiar and it is familiar. Now here's why, right? Guys, if you want, you can literally just buy my course in the description down below. It's only $1,000 and then you learn how to do dropshipping. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it great? Now guys, Obviously, I'm kidding. I'm not selling you anything, and these products are obviously, I'm not really buying these things from China, right? But I do want to tell you this, right, guys? Every single person on YouTube is telling you this stuff, right? They're telling you, well, if you do drop shipping, it works. If you don't do drop shipping, you're sucked. And, you know, just buy my course, and I'll teach you exactly how to do it. E commerce is great. Look at this, look at this, look at this. I'm going to refresh my screen. I'm going to refresh it. Look, isn't it true? Look, look, I just made $30,000 this month. But what they don't tell you is the margins. How much money of that is actually theirs? How much time do you spend to actually build that store? They don't tell you anything like that. Before I even start telling you the three reasons why drop shipping is actually a scam, or it might be a scam, or might not be as easy as you actually think it is, I'm actually gonna define what dropshipping actually is, right? Guys, but before I even tell you that, like every single video that I do, I wanna tell you guys one thing, right? I don't speak just to talk, I talk from experience. It means that every single thing that I tell you, I usually try and I do all the research I could possibly do, right? So about like six months ago, right? I took a course from Andrew and Paul. They do dropshipping, you can just like search it up on Google. It's fine, you'll find it, they do great stuff. I took these two courses, which are not cheap, right? And I started doing drop shipping, right? When I did drop shipping, in my first two to three months, I made around $20,000 in sales and my profit margin was around 30%, right? So if you wanna do some quick math, because math is king and so is cash, check this out. If I made $20,000, I mean, you times it by 0.30, I made $6,000. If you divide that by two months, that's around $3,000 every single month which is not bad at all, right? Sounds good, sounds great, sounds amazing, but I do wanna define what dropshipping actually is, right? Because every single person out there thinks that it's just one thing, but in reality, it isn't just one thing, it's multiple things, right? And dropshipping is not dead, there's a lot of ways to do it, but it could be dead at any moment. I'm gonna explain to you guys exactly why. Now, when I first started dropshipping, I was doing eBay dropshipping, it means that I was using the eBay website with 17 million people that are there shopping all the time, I was using their website to actually put on my products and then buy it from Amazon and then ship it directly to those people or buy it from AliExpress, do the same thing. The same thing, the same thing, the same thing now. Now, if you guys found out, right, every single person that taught me how to do dropshipping in the beginning, which is Paul and Andrew, they're not doing eBay dropshipping as much as they were before because eBay dropped a policy that they're kind of flagging those stores and they don't actually want it in their entire website. And that's completely fine because it's their website and then they can do whatever they want with it, right? So it's not really a stable business. Now, every single person out there is selling you Shopify or Amazon courses, right? On how to actually sell an Amazon and everybody's going crazy about it. Everybody's going crazy, okay? I want to explain to you guys something before I even go crazy in this video, okay? The first thing is this, right? They're not telling you a lot of things. Everything sounds easy. Everything is like, oh my gosh, this is great. And they're using a whole bunch of buzzwords. These buzzwords are security time you can have you can do this from wherever you want you can make money you can be on vacation and it's gonna give you freedom you can quit your job all this stuff is just security and in reality you're just gonna be self-employed kind of like an employee if you get sick and you can't run the business and you can't run the business it doesn't work without you that's what they don't tell you and to actually scale up the business is actually very hard right so this is where i start breaking things down completely all right so pay attention so the first thing is this right Every single time you see one of these ads, you gotta understand what they're actually selling you, okay? They're not selling you the ability to actually learn how to actually, you know, do dropshipping. They're actually selling you a course. They sell you the course, they show you exactly how to do it because it's very easy to start, a, like, you know, start like a Shopify store, shop, start like an eBay dropshipping store. It's very easy to make sales those first few days, right? It's very, very easy. Trust me, it's very easy, right? You can just do some marketing, you can get those people in there, they buy the stuff because those products already have a consumer base, they already have demand. So people are gonna buy them. It's very easy for them to do that. It's very easy to them, to them to just like, oh, it's a PS4 controller. Oh, it's a horse. People love this stuff. People are gonna buy it. Great, awesome. But what they don't tell you is the razor thin margins, all right? Razor thin margins means that, for example, right, I made 30% off for every single product that I sold, but in reality, not everybody was able to do that. It's actually very impossible, okay? The average person from dropshipping makes between like maybe 3.5% 
all the way up to 8%. Maybe some people get 10%, but it's not even that much then, right? So imagine this, right? For you to be able to make $1,000 from dropshipping, you literally have to sell, check this out. If I sold, all right, $3,000, for me to make $3,000, and some people, by the way, they make 1%. So imagine you have to sell $100,000 worth of products and you times it by 0.01, you just made a thousand dollars. Okay. That's how it works. That's how razor thin these margins are because every single person out there is actually competing with you to actually get those same customers that you're actually trying to sell things to. That's why when you go on eBay, well, when you used to go on eBay, you used to see like 40 different listings for the same thing with different prices, with different like cents and like decimals. And it's all the same thing and it's all the same exact products, but it's just like very little price difference, right? Because it's way too much competition. Now that's the first thing. The margins are really small. So while they might tell you, well, you can just make money every single day, use extra income. In reality, it's not that easy and you're actually not going to make that much money. Now, the second thing I want to talk about guys is that you actually have no control over everything that they're actually telling you. Okay. Now, for example, if you do an eBay dropshipping store, which you can't anymore because they're flagging stores Some people actually still do it. And I'll tell you the exact way they do it. Okay. Cause I used to do this too. You know, the way they do it now is that they start new stores every single time when they get flagged, right? Because when you get flagged, like you can't advertise anymore, like eBay, like slows on your sales like crazy. So it's not the same. So they make new eBay stores every single like month, whenever they get flagged and you just keep selling like that and just keep going and keep going and keep going. Right. But imagine this, right? eBay did this before eBay did that. eBay was like the kingdom of like drop shippers, right? Everyone was doing it. I was making $20,000. That's great. Awesome. But now everybody has switched to Amazon. So what this tells you is that there's really no control. Unless you do Shopify, unless you create your own like like brand, unless you create your own fan base, your own customer base, okay? What this means is this, right? If you're using eBay or Amazon, which are big like platforms, if at any moment they choose to say, well, we don't want dropshippers here anymore. Well, guess what? You're F'd. You can't be there anymore. They're going to flag you. They don't want you there. You got to leave. You got to move on, right? But for example, something that I do like about Alex Becker, right? And I, I made a video about him like, like yesterday or something like that, right? I said I didn't like him that much, but really I kind of do. Okay. Because what he teaches you is this, right? He teaches you exactly how to create your own Shopify store, your own brand and sell your own products and build your own customer base and build your own like Facebook page to actually start building the community around your products. And that's something that I really like. What this means is this, right? While eBay might flag those stores, well, no one's going to flag you on Shopify because it's completely dependent on you. But one thing I do want to clarify, it is not easy to start getting a customer base over there. Imagine this, right? I have a YouTube channel here for me to actually get people to watch these videos. I need to do like extreme, extreme clickbait, right? Once people land here, they know I have good content. So they stay and they subscribe, right? That's a trend. But imagine this, right? Imagine how many websites on Google are paying millions of dollars a year to actually have those like, um, you know, those products on the first page. So imagine you little old, you, you're trying to get on the first page of Google, but it's impossible because you're not spending any money on advertising. Right? So it's not as easy as it sounds. So it's not as easy as, okay, I'm just going to make this website. I'm just going to get the money and then that's going to be it. Right? It doesn't work like that. I want to make sure you guys understand that. So Alex Becker or any other person that's doing this entire marketing, I get why they would do that. And I kind of do that myself every time I make a thumbnail. Okay. Because it's kind of like this, right? You land here. Once you get into the video, then you actually get the content. Once you click that link, then they actually tell you how much work it actually takes to get there. That's the entire thing. But in this case, you click my video, you watch the video for free, but in that case, you might have to pay for the course to then later find out that you have to put in so much work and then get a refund. And then that takes like, like 10 days, something like that. So it's not the same, but it's kind of similar. Okay. Now the third thing I want to talk about is this It's about scalability. Now, People out there might tell you, Tommy, you don't get it. Dropshipping can actually be scalable to a point where you don't even need to be present. And the thing is this, right? I know people that make like around $15,000 a month, right? From dropshipping, right? I know these people and I took courses from these people, right? And they don't even trust people that actually work for them. The reason is because whenever you're doing dropshipping, you have to understand something, right? You're literally using your credit card or your debit card, your personal information to actually buy those products and actually get it to those people, right? So for example, when you hire a VA, that's what they call virtual assistants from like another place of the country, like Philippines or like, um, anywhere around the world, right? Cause you want to get cheap labor, maybe like a dollar an hour, $3 an hour. That's fine. That's appropriate. But here's why, right? Whenever you do this, what it means is this, right? You have to give that person your credit card information or you don't. Okay. So whenever these people are actually hiring these people, what they're usually doing is this, right? They hire them to list products on list products, 
optimize products and make sure those products are actually gonna be always on the first page of wherever they're actually selling it, right? That's what they hire them to do. But it's very difficult to actually trust someone with their personal credit card information to actually, you know, fulfill the orders. That's kind of different, okay? Now, you can have an automated system like a bot actually like, you know, like fulfill those orders, but it gets expensive because it costs around like like maybe like 31 cents to actually do it every single time. So that's another thing that's actually add to you like razor thin margins, okay? By the way, guys, check this out, right? The average person that's selling those products on 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 like Shopify or anything like that and tell you, well, you know, I make so much money, that's great, that's awesome. In reality, their margin is maybe like like maybe five percent. Okay, let's say five percent. So to sell a product for forty dollars, right? They're really just gonna be making times 0 0.05. They're making two dollars from that product, right? Imagine when you have to pay um um PayPal some money, then you have to pay shipping some money. And, well, not shipping, right? Because usually you get like free shipping, like from Amazon and stuff like that. But say like shipping is not included, you have to cover shipping. Say you have to pay for the bots, you have to pay for that, and then you also have to pay for the software that monitors all this stuff. And on top of that, you have to pay the virtual assistants that actually do the work for you to actually list those products, right? So if you didn't get what I said in this video, what I basically said was this, okay? One, razor thin profits. It means that you're not actually making 10%, 20%, or 30% unless you have like a great source from, from like China and you're selling like clothes or something like that, that's completely different. But the average person is not doing that. They're just selling from one website to the other, right? It means that it's just based on convenience, right? Because if I wanted to be smart, I can just go on eBay, then on Amazon, then on Alibaba, and just double check the prices, make sure I'm not being drop shipped, and then I'm good to go, right? So you're selling convenience. The second thing is that you have no real control. If eBay chooses to actually shut down or say like, I'm not doing this anymore, which it did, you're effed. If Amazon chooses to do the same thing, then you're effed. Unless you're doing what Alex Becker does, which is build your entire own Shopify store, which is great, and you build your own audience, but that does take a little bit of money. It is not free. Don't believe the hype, right? And third is scalability, all right? The only way you can actually get around this is by hiring employees. If you hire employees and you actually pay them, I expect maybe they just do like a testing period, give them like a, like a credit card, something like that, or a debit card, and if anything happens, you can just like report it or something like that, you know? But that's the only way you actually do it. You know, the only way you can scale this business up is by giving someone your personal information to actually fulfill all those orders, actually list all those orders, and then have the entire store run smoothly and automatic. But Sometimes you do have to sign in, right, to actually make sure that all the orders are fulfilled and nothing is actually going wrong, all right, guys? Guys, by the way, guys, I do want to make sure you guys understand something, right? I'm not here to burst your bubble and say, well, don't do this, don't do that, this is a scam, this is fake, this is that, this is that. I'm just trying to be here so you guys understand what business you're actually getting yourself into, okay? Because whenever I went into one of those business, I made sure I did all the research so that I can actually be sure that I was getting into the right thing. By the way, guys, any course that you sign up for that's teaching you this stuff, make sure the guy, if you go to the guy, right, you search him up on YouTube, make sure he also, he actually has like free content up because usually these guys are just like people that learn from other people and then they're just like literally just like taking that course, copying everything and just making their own course, selling that and then just make the money, they pocket the money, they teach you a little bit and then they're out, okay? That's what they do. So for example, Alex Becker has like hundreds and hundreds of videos on his entire platform on YouTube, all free. Ty Lopez had the same thing, okay? Um, Paul has the same thing. He has a great support base. Andrew, I think he has the same thing also. These people are very good. They're the top leaders in their entire field. They're great. They're amazing. But if you're looking at a random person that you've never seen before, and they're just doing ads like here and there, and just trying to get your money, then be very careful, okay? Because what they're doing is like trying to build rapport by like doing an ad, and then you buy the course, and then you're inside. That's about it. But if someone has been doing like free content, and on top of that, they give you a paid content, that's pretty good. That's pretty fair. Okay, guys. So my name is Simon Bryson. If you don't know me, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you guys next time on the next video. If you have any comments or likes or subscribes you actually want to do, make sure you like and subscribe, by the way. That's how I know you guys like the videos and make sure you comment down below any more ideas. And if you disagree with anything I had to say, let me know in the comments down below. Remember guys, I'm not telling you it's a scam. What I'm telling you is that there are a lot of things you have to consider before you go into this business, okay? Because usually the more successful you get into this business, the less time you actually have. And that's not really a real business, that's just being self-employed, all right? Make sure you guys know the difference. I'll see you guys next time on the next video, and peace. You've got to start at the bottom If you ever gonna reach the top You've gotta watch your